would you say that this is the same thing as crossing out the twos and say it's going to be this plus that? Is that the same thing? Not even close. That's not how math works. Now, take a look at your calculators. When you look at your calculators, there are four basic operations on there. There is a button for addition. There's a button for subtraction. And if you had a fancy calculator, maybe a percentage or some other things like that. Uh, maybe some statistical analysis. But there's also going to be a button for multiplication. Where in the calculator is there a button called the cancel operation? Where, where is it? Where in the calculator is the math operator known as canceling? There's not. So if there's no operator known as canceling, why do we talk about an operator called canceling when there's no such thing? Boom! Blows your mind. What it is, is people talk about canceling to try to give you a shortcut, to try to give you a trick, to try to help you in the process so you can do the work, but in the end, it actually short circuits your understanding. See, guys, it's better to understand why something happens, why that it works, so that you can actually understand what's going on. If you got into this mindset of this canceling idea, what's up top, what's down below, and it's got to go, it causes a lot of problems. And guys, there's something in a name. There's something in a word. If words didn't have any meaning, why do we use them then? There's meaning behind words. Be careful, little lips, what you say. Be careful, little ears, what you hear. There's meaning behind words. And this is one of the things that I was struggling with, actually, when I was in school, because I was taught this whole entire idea of canceling. And I know what they're trying to do now, but back then, I didn't have a clue. I just did what the person told me to do. You see what's on top, you see what's down below, it's the same thing, cross it out. And I kept getting problems wrong, left and right. I didn't understand why I was getting them wrong. I was doing exactly what they told me to do. And I was getting very frustrated. And then it dawned on me one day, oh, there's no math operator known as canceling. What is it? It's division. And I started rechanging my vocabulary. I took the word canceling out and I put the word what it really was, called it by what it really was called, division. And then things started making a lot more sense. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use the right word. We're going to divide terms out because that's really what we're doing. We're not canceling them out. If I'm canceling something out, it goes, where'd it go? I don't know. Puff of smoke. It went away. So I'm going to push things off. I'm going to divide them off in order to simplify it.